No, this is definitely a must win when you look at it. Lamar's done basically everything you can do in the NFL at this point. He was one of the youngest MVPs in the NFL history. He's led this team to the division win most of his time in Baltimore. Like, if you think about it, he's all that's all he's done is win during the season. But come playoff time, that's where people have their question marks about him. Like, can he finish? Can he win the big game? Like, you have Joe Burrow, who's already passed him in making a Super Bowl, and he's drafted a year or two after him. So I think, yeah, this is a must win. They secured the number one seed. They've got home field throughout the playoffs. So this defense is really good. The offense, they started to come on later in the season. They had big wins against the 49ers, who most people think that's a preview of the Super Bowl. So I think they should be confident going into this game. But I will say this, nothing nothing ever ends well with this bye week. Like they come most teams come out rusty. Like you're not playing football for two weeks while the other team basically gets a a warm up, uh, a week one as is. Um so Houston could come out and blitz them. Maybe not like a blowout, but I could see them scoring first and then all of, all of a sudden it's like all right we've got to you know wake up the playoffs started like we didn't play last week so we're kind of still getting our sea legs under us but i think for lamar this is one of the biggest games of his career like i think every game in the playoffs this year is the biggest game of his career cuz what can you really say about this kid besides not winning in the, the playoffs like you can't he's probably going to win the mvp again this year so I would love for him to add a Super Bowl ring on top of that. Because at this point, like him having two, I, I guarantee you he'd trade those MVPs for a ring right now. Because people remember you more for that than they do the MVPs. Like, sure. Like, let me look at the MVPs. If Jalen Hurts would have won the MVP last year, would it have been bigger than him winning the Super Bowl? No. So I think... Fan bases remember you for how great you are, but also for how much you've won for them. And, I mean, his predecessor, Joe Flacco, has won. So I don't I don't think, you know, Joe Flacco's a better quarterback than him. But sometimes you don't have to be. Look at Eli. <laughs> Throw that little, yeah, he threw that little shot. This is exactly uh, what Chris was talking about. This is, this is exactly what Chris was talking about. Hey, now – Greg, what's your take from C.J. Shroud, man? C.J. Shroud is going against Lamar Jackson. He has that huge, huge game, first playoff game. Again, breaking records, blowout game. The Ravens have a top-tier defense. They allow the fewest amount of points in the NFL. At the same time, the Texans lead the NFL in not turning the ball over. C.J. Shroud protects that rock. They don't really turn the ball over as an offense. It's not many times where they fumble. What are you seeing from C.J. Shroud, and what's your expectations going on in this game, C.J. Lamar? Yeah, I mean, I think I think the Texans have a chance. I think when you have a quarterback as good as C.J. Stroud is, uh, you have a chance. It, it's an uphill battle playing against a defense that good. The Ravens have no excuse to not win a Super Bowl this year. They're loaded. They're loaded defensively. They're loaded offensively they've got everything they need there's really no excuse here lamar has to go win one that's the reality of it um it, i mean really um so and I, I think about it like i mean i don't know how many times in my life i've seen a quarterback this good to have a situation this good that they're playing in you know um so i i just really no excuse when there's all the pressures on the ravens to win this football game and i think that's where a guy like cj shroud and the texans have an advantage same thing as the cowboys you know, obviously they don't have an idiot owner who's going to go put pressure on them publicly so the Ravens won't be as tight. But they, there still is that factor there where they know they have to win the Super Bowl now. It's their time. So the team of the Texans come in there, they're, they're, they're loose, you know, and, and CJ's been amazing all year long. And 
He, you know, in that first place playoff game to have that performance, it wasn't surprising at all to me. He does so many things at a high level. He plays like he's been in the NFL for 10 years. He already looks like a superstar quarterback. Could have been in the MVP, MVP conversation if he hadn't gotten hurt. So I expect him to have a great game one way or another. I think he, he may hit some struggles there against that defense, but I think he'll play a very good game. Like he, It won't be ugly. Um, I think they'll keep it tight. I think they'll be able to score with them a bit um, as well. But ultimately, I think the Ravens will, will pull out a win because that's just that's just the, the nature of their roster. They had a good team from top to bottom. But C.J. is – solidified himself in year one as a guy who's a franchise quarterback and already a top seven quarterback. I take him over Dak Prescott right now. I take him over a lot of guys. So if Dak Prescott was a top seven guy, yeah, then he's, he's in within top seven range, top six. Like he's, he is really, really good. Um, and it's pretty, it's remarkable the the season he's had. And I, I just think he's going to, the arrows going to keep pointing up for that guy, especially when they can surround him with so much because of the Deshaun trade. Uh, so whether or not the Texans win or lose this game, they're winners. And and that, that organization is going to be a, cha- a championship organization for the next 10 years, 10 to 12 years. They found the guy um, and they've got all this, this capital to go out there and get better and money. So just an exciting time for Texans fans.